Hello everybody! Welcome back to Reading with Leanne. Today we are going to read the book Fossil by Bill Thompson. So looking at the cover of our book, we see a hand reaching over. It looks like a rock has cracked in half and it's revealing a fossil in between. So this story is very unique where there are no words, except for maybe just one of the pages, maybe in the beginning, but there's no other words in the story. So I'm going to try to tell the story based on the images. And this is an exercise that you can try at home. Some books, they come with no words at all. And what you could do is practice telling a wordless story to a teacher, to a sibling, to your parents. Let's give it a try. The story begins with a boy, maybe walking his dog, <gasps> and it looks like they've walked down to the beach. Now, this is the only part of the book that I'm going to be reading. What is a fossil? Because that's the title of our story. A fossil shows the traces or remains of animals and plants that lived 10,000 or more years ago. A fossil can be a rock with a preserved part of an extinct animal or the imprint of an ancient plant. By studying fossils, we can learn a lot about prehistoric life. Now, this book, it was dedicated to, it was in loving remembrance of the students and teachers of Sandy Hook Elementary School. So, the boy walking his dog, they did end up maybe at a beach, or maybe this is a lake. There's some Canada goose, little geese. And the dog sniffs something on the sand. The boy looks at the green stone. He's so focused on the stone, he doesn't see the branch sticking out of the sand. His foot gets caught underneath. He falls. <gasps> And the green stone flies out of his hands and cracks on a larger gray stone. <gasps> the boy is amazed. The green stone cracks in half and what is inside? It's the fossil of a fern. So he looks in amazement at his fossilized fern and <gasps> Suddenly, there's a sparkle and real ferns begin to grow. So, as the boy watches the leaves extending, unfolding, his dog finds something else in the sand. Another stone? The dog digs and digs and the boy pulls it up. He takes it one stone, cracks the gray stone and what is inside? the fossil of a dragonfly. And just like the fern plant, the dragonfly <gasps> comes alive. The boy and the dog watch in amazement. The dragonfly flies towards, kind of like towards a reddish stone. sits on the red stone. It's a heavy one. The boy lifts it up, drops it down. It cracks in half and what could this be? What do you suspect? They look like claws. The boy watches the stone and behind him a shadow emerges. There's some sparkles in the corner too. The boy looks back and it's a pterodactyl. The dragonfly and the boy run for it. They flee. But it looks like the dog is jumping at the pterodactyl. The dog jumps on the pterodactyl and he's flying. The boy calls, buddy. Come back! The pterodactyl is shocked as well and continues to fly. 
and the dog looks like it's having the time of its life. But the boy doesn't want to lose his dog. He runs, and as he's running, he mistakenly crunches the green stone. The fern fossil breaks into pieces, and with more sparkles, the ferns fade. Huh. This gives the boy an idea. He runs the opposite way from the pterodactyl now. The pterodactyl seems to be eyeing the geese. So the boy sees the pterodactyl fossil. He picks up a heavy stone. He throws it at the fossil and the fossil crumbles into many pieces. And just like that, with the sparkle, the pterodactyl fades. And our dog <gasps> splashes into the water. Mm. The dog seems to love the water. And the boy is back with his best friend. And it looks like only the dragonfly from the fossil remains. And that is the end of our story. This was called Fossil by Bill Thompson. Thank you so much for reading along with me.